Number 16, this is 1978 Eisenhower dollar in MS67 condition. Lovely iridescent gold toning on obverse gives way to silver gray brilliance on the reverse. Both sides are boldly struck, lustrous, and exceptionally smooth for circulation struck Eisenhower dollar of any issue. It was sold for $1440. Number 15, a rare error coin, 1957 Washington quarter struck on a dime planchet, graded in mint state 64 by NGC. It weighs just 2.5 grams, nicely centered with legends largely off the flange due to the smaller diameter of the planchet than that intended for the design. Fortunately, the date is visible and legible, though the digits are only partially present. The identity of the date on the mint errors is one of the key aspects of value as very striking errors many times result in the loss of this key element. It was sold for $2,040. Number 14, here is a famous 1955 wheat penny with double diverse. NGC assigned uncirculated details with no numerical grade. Because it has altered color, perhaps done intentionally, the 1955 double diverse penny is rare and valuable coins that resulted from a minting error. The obverse side of a coin features a noticeable doubling of the date and letterings, creating a distinct and prominent doubling effect. This error occurred when the coin die was engraved with a misaligned design. Due to its rarity and unique appearance, the 1955 double die obverse penny is highly sought after by collectors and can command a significant prices in the numismatic market. This elusive double die worth cent ended up selling for $2,400. Number 13. This is 1946 Washington Quarter in MS 68 condition. The 1946 D Washington Quarter, while plentiful overall, is scarce in superb gem condition. This example displays radiant mint luster and bold strike, olive, amber, and russet border. Toning surrounds, light champagne interiors. Eye appeal is outstanding. It ended up selling for $2,820. Number 12. This is 1950D Washington Quarter with Repunch D over S mint mark. Graded in mint state 65 by PCGS. The upper curve of the under mint mark S emerged above the prominent Denver mint mark. Delicate powder blue and caramel gold visits a thoroughly lustrous and boldly impressed gem. The reverse on its own has look of a finer grade. The 1950 D over S is rarer than its 1950 S over D counterpart. Number 11. This is 2018 P. Roosevelt Times struck on a 4 a.m. planchet, graded in mint state 60 by PCGS. A typical clad dime weighs 2.27 grams, while the weight of this error dime is 1.5 grams. A predominantly steel planchet, likely made for coinage in an unknown foreign country, was struck between the Roosevelt dime dies. Customary for an undersized planchet, the strike is mushy at the borders and centers. Nonetheless, Roosevelt's profile is bold. The surfaces are predominantly grey but display peripheral walnut brown shades. This elusive coin was sold for $3360. Number 10. Here is 1955D Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. The Denver Mint likely had a hangover from its huge quarter dollar production in 1954 and 1955 provided a rare instance after 1950s that these means struck fewer quarters than Philadelphia. This issue drew immediate attention from speculators who watched carefully the monthly mintage figures provided by the Treasury Department. Huge numbers of 1955D quarters were saved and worn examples below AU are a bit scarce. Most survivors have enough contact marks that they fail to grade higher than MS66. Some are faintly proof-like, but not enough so to be certified as proof-like. This specimen was sold for $4,680. Number 9. This is 1976 Jefferson Nickel of Worth struck on a reverse of 1976 D. Roosevelt time. 
graded in mean state 64 by PCGS. Due to difference of planchet sizes, letterings are not fully struck. This elusive error coin ended up selling for $6,600. Number 8, here is 1947 S. Roosevelt in MS68 condition with full bands. Gentle pastel-like shades of powder blue and pink are enhanced by spring green and sunset red at the left obverse border. Fully struck with bright, frosty luster overall. It was sold for $6,168.75. Number 7. Moving on with his 1943 Mercury Dime in MS68 condition. The 1943 Mercury Dime claims a wartime mintage of more than 191 million pieces, but the issue is still rare at the MS68 grade level, with a full band designation. This spectacular MS68 example displays sharply detailed design elements with full band definition on facets. The virtually flawless luster surfaces are enhanced by highlights of violet, sea green, jade, and amber patina. I appeal is terrific. Sold on August 17, 2023, for $6,300. Number 6. Here is 2000p Chiria Sacagawea dollar in MS68 condition. The famous 2000p Chiria dollars are distinguished by the veins on the eagle's tail. That ribbing is not present on uncirculated or even proof coins. According to Heritage, with only 5,500 coins is distributed and given to the public nature, it's easy to see why this cherry pickers and guidebook variety ranks 14th among the 100 greatest US modern coins. This golden superb gem enjoys swirling mint luster over fully struck and flawless preserved surfaces. Number 5, this is 1925S Buffalo Nickel in MS65 plus condition. The 1925S is plentiful in lower mean state grades, but the date becomes notably scarce in MS65 and is a significant rarity any finer. The condition census is composed of 5 MS66 pieces, 3 at NGC and 2 at PCGS. This plus designated gem is just outside of census and it is itself a rarity as one of only three plus graded pieces at this level. Satiny creamy white luster characterizes the luster, while the margins exhibit elements of metal flow due to the usual dye fatigue associated with branch issues in 1920s. Some strike softness is as normal for the issue. Sold on August 15, 2023 for $10,800. Number 4, Lincoln sent from elusive small date variety, graded in mean state 69 red by PCGS, an incredible condition rarity from this transitional modern issue. The surfaces are essentially flawless, painted in an even salmon pink hue, satiny luster cartwheels without interruption across each side, emphasizing the sharply rendered devices. It represents an incredible rarity and is destined for the most advanced collection of Lincoln scents. It ended up selling for $15,600. Number 3. Another error coin. Stunning double struck 1959 Franklin half dollar, graded as AU58 by PCGS. A rare dramatic major mint error on the Franklin half dollar. According to Stax Power, this coin was first struck properly but then failed to fully eject from the press and received a second strike, 55% of center, to just before 6 o'clock. The result is that the lower obverse exhibits a second portrait albite on the top, while on the upper reverse, the bottom of a second Liberty Bell is also plainly evident. Also discernible from the second strike are portions of the word Liberty and the denomination half dollar. Virtually all design elements from the first impression are at least partially discernible. The date sharp and the D mint mark bold. It fetched a sum of $15,600. Number 2, 1941S Walking Liberty of Dollar in MS67 condition. 
The present coin brings the top grade PCGS coin back to the market for registry collectors, and it has the added appeal for magnificent multicolor toning around both borders with light golden color across interiors. The strike is sharp and the lofty grade is unquestioned upon close examination. It was sold for $32,400 on August 15, 2023. Number 1, and here is 1909 VDB cent, graded as PR67 plus red by PCGS, and the grade was proven by CHC afterwards. The 1909 proof VDB cent is considered rare and valuable primarily due to its historical significance and limited mintage. The inclusion of designers' initials on the reverse led to a public outcry, as some felt it was too prominent. As a result, the initial VDB were removed from the coin's design later in 1909. The combination of being a one-year design with a limited initial mintage and historical importance has driven strong demand from collectors further contributing to its rarity and value. This true gem ended up selling for $365,625 with buyer's fee. Thanks for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions or remarks, you can leave a comment under this video. And please hit subscribe and like buttons before you watch another video on YouTube. Take care.